What's up guys welcome back to another video. With Oxygen OS 12 OnePlus introduced this new feature called high performance mode on OnePlus smartphones running Oxygen OS 12 which can help improve performance of the device while heavy tasking or gaming. So I thought why not do a detailed testing about the same and check the difference between normal mode and high performance mode. Also guys such videos takes a lot of time to shoot and edit so one like can motivate us to make such awesome videos. Also still we have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so it's a humble request do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So here we are testing out normal mode and high performance mode on OnePlus 9 running Oxygen OS 12 version C.44. Left device is running normal mode and the right device is running high performance mode. During the start of test, device temperature was 26 degrees Celsius of the device which is running on normal mode and right side device temperature was 30 degrees Celsius before starting the test. Temperature difference is due to the timing between both the shoots. Also a device are completely charged. We'll be doing benchmark testing on both these devices with high performance mode and normal mode. 10 times we'll perform geek benchmark testing, later 5 times enter 2 benchmark testing and at last once we'll also test out the CPU throttle at the end. So after the first benchmark testing using Geekbench application, device with normal mode scored 864 in single core and with multi core device scored 3308. With high performance mode device scored 1100 with single core and 3233 with multi core. With the completion of second test, normal mode scored 867 with single core and with multi core scores were 3206. Using high performance mode, second time results were 1097 single core and 3186 in multi core. With continuous testing, third time with normal mode scores were 871 in single core and with multi core scores were 3281. With high performance mode, single core scored 1098 and with multi core scores were 3173. We did notice bit of higher benchmark results in the fourth test in normal mode wherein single core scored 904 and multi core scored 3295. On high performance mode single core scores were 1093 and multi core scores were 3149. After that we again saw a bit of dip in the single core results on normal mode wherein device scored 887 and 3304 with multi core. With the fifth test using high performance mode scores were 1096 with single core and 3094 with multi core. And we did notice bit of increase in the temperature of the device wherein we started with the 26 degree Celsius on normal mode and now after running geek benchmark application for 5 times temperature have raised up to 32 degree Celsius. So around 6 degree Celsius temperature raised on normal mode with high performance mode we noticed 9 degree Celsius of rise in the temperature. High performance mode after 6 test device code 1091 and 3095 in multi core. Also guys if you take a look on high performance mode single core have been continuously maintaining about 1000 but that's not the case with normal mode. Normal mode have only gone up to 904 which is the highest till now. With both normal mode and high performance mode device is maintaining constant between 850 to 900 in single core and with the continuous testing we did not see much of drops in the benchmark results till now. Still with normal mode device is able to score more than 850 in single core and above 3200 in multi scores. High performance is also maintaining above 1050 in single core and 3050 in multi core. And after the 10th round of continuously benchmark testing, the final results are 848 with single core and 3274 in multi core with normal mode. But if you take a look at the results in high performance mode, you can see a drastic drop in the single core scores, wherein device scored 738 in single core and multi core scores are 3027. Also, if you take a look at the temperature, now we'll start with the N22 benchmark testing, and here we'll be performing N22 benchmark testing five times. So here with the first test of N22 benchmark testing, device running normal mode have scored 7,30,873 wherein device which is running high performance mode have pretty low scores which are 6,38,126. And I seriously did not understand the difference between high performance mode here while testing N22 benchmark application wherein scores are pretty low with the second test 
again device running normal mode have scored 7,14,492 but device running high performance mode have only scored 6,45,956. Those slight lower benchmarks can be seen on normal mode compared to the initial test but with high performance mode device gained up a bit compared to first results of Antutu benchmark. After the third test Again we saw a bit of dip with normal mode wherein device have come up to 6,95,105 running normal mode. And with high performance mode we can see again bit of increase in the benchmark results compared to the initial test wherein scores have reached now up to 6,59,068. With the fourth test on normal mode again bit of lower benchmark results to be seen and scores are 6,76,764. Where in the same case is now with high performance mode there also we saw drop in the benchmark results and now scores have come up to 6,34,253. Lowest as of now in Antutu benchmark testing. And with the final test using normal mode scores of and to two benchmark application is 6,85,195. Here with the last test, we saw a bit of improvement in the benchmark results. And the same thing can be seen with high performance mode, wherein we saw a bit of improvement in the benchmark results with the final testing of N22 benchmark application. And talking about the temperature, device running normal mode have reached up to 40 degrees Celsius, wherein device running high performance mode have reached up to 41 degrees Celsius. But if you take a look at the highest results using high performance mode with the N22 benchmark application, still it wasn't able to beat the device running normal mode. And now at last let's do a CPU throttling test on both these phones. So we did CPU throttling twice on both these phones wherein device running normal mode we could see CPU did not throttle but device which is running high performance mode there we saw 89% of CPU throttling. And the max temperature what we got on high performance mode is 43 degree Celsius but the temperature on normal mode did not go above 40 degree Celsius. And also these tests took similar time but the battery drain was bit higher on normal mode. And I seriously was not able to understand the difference between high performance mode and normal mode. Usually high performance mode would have given better benchmark results while performing these tests. And it's not like that one device had huge difference between the benchmark testing. All the benchmark testing were done continuously. With Geekbench application no doubt single core scores were quite high. But in Ender 2 benchmark testing, normal mode completely nailed the high performance mode. So if I had to say anything about the high performance mode, I personally feel high performance mode is still not that optimized to give us the performance what we expect from a device after enabling high performance mode. You can clearly see lesser battery drain in high performance mode compared to normal mode. And I also feel that high performance mode is not meant to be used for a longer run. This thing can be used for a short term like if you are a casual gamer and you do gaming for an hour or two but continuously using high performance mode drops the device performance. But still you guys let me know what are your thoughts about normal mode and high performance mode and how does your device perform if you compare in normal mode and high performance mode. So guys this was a detailed testing of normal mode and high performance mode on my oneplus 9 running oxygen os 12 as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day